race number 41. Turn marshals, pay attention. Good luck drivers and listen for the tow. Good start by everyone. Kinwald sitting this one out, breaking down on the warm up lap. So you guys heard the map. Tebow has a second. He has to win to have a shot. The Ryans just have to beat each other if Tebow doesn't win. So all sorts of math going to be taking place here. So it is Mayfield, your leader, Tebow second, and Cavalieri third, the three contenders. Those are the only three guys that have a shot at the top three spots. Everybody else racing for fourth on back. Go for it, Steven. All right, Mayfield, your leader, Tebow second. And do this math, if Tebow were to win and Mayfield were to get second and Cavalieri were to get third, then all three of them would be tied with a first and a second. And then we'd have a three-way tiebreaker, which were laps and times in the two highest pointed mains. So it could get interesting here. And all eyes on deck right now, all officials watching the race for the lead. Let's hope we don't need to use any penalties but they will happen if need be. All right, 1.30 down, 4.30 to go. I would stay standing, Bob, so you can check out all the action there. Tebow looking for a way around. Coming up the hill, a little tap, no harm, no foul. Mayfield still holds on to the position. Remember, if you run into someone, let them go back by. No harm, no foul on that. I'm using that phrase a lot, something's wrong. All right, Mayfield and Tebow and Cavallari, first, second, and third over the tabletop, over the doubles, up onto the bump turn. Tebow base, oh, Mayfield rolls it over. Mayfield flips it over all by himself. So that's gonna put Tebow to the lead. Jared Tebow up front, now Mayfield dropping a third and Cavallari in the middle in the second spot. But Jared Tebow knows what he has to do. Cavallari already with the first and the second. So if the race ended now, Tebow and Cavallari would be tied and come to the tiebreaker. Mayfield would be on the outside looking in with a current first and third for Mayfield. 2.30 down, 3.30 left to go. Tebow starting to put some daylight between him and Cavallari. So Tebow knows that if he wins and Cavallari gets second, there will be a tiebreaker. So Tebow has to turn in a good, fast time if he is going to win this race because the tiebreaker is laps and times off your two best. So here we go, over the doubles, over the tabletop. Your running order, Tebow out front, Cavallari second, Mayfield third, Dustin Evans running fourth, Travis Amescu a fifth, Jesse Roberts sixth, Numidal seventh, Chambers is eighth, Mike Truey ninth, Scott Brown tenth, and Stephen Hartson eleventh. All right, Tebow, oh, watch it, Hartson stuff in the pipe. So Hartson, you will have your three leaders coming up on you. You know what's up. He lets all three leaders go by. Good sportsmanship by Stephen Hartson from Associated. Oh, good battle. Mayfield now taking over second. And this was the scenario I was talking about. If the race ended right now with Tebow winning Mayfield second and Cavallari third, it would be a three-way tie for the win. All of them would have a first and a second. But right there, Mayfield with the bobble, that's going to give Cavallari back the second spot. Meanwhile, Tebow setting sail out front, starting to check out of this one. Cavallari in second, Mayfield in third, and Dustin Evans, who's been the fastest two-wheel for the Losey camp, running in the fourth spot. Amescu of fifth, Roberts sixth, Humanol seventh, Fisher eighth. Brown is ninth, and Truly rounding out the top ten. Oh, Tebow stuffing the pipe all by himself. So now Cavallari starting to reel in. Oh, Tebow rolls over, wants the back straight, wants the back straight. Oh, Tebow rolling over, going from first to third. Now Cavallari and Mayfield get to battle it out, mano y mano here. So Tebow jumping big off that, off that jump, coming onto the back straight away, bottoming out and rolling it over. And Tebow now getting by Mayfield. He knows it's now or never. One minute, 30 seconds to go. 1.30 to go, drivers. Cavallari out front, looking to win another national title. Mayfield already won truck. Cavallari already won four-wheel. Cavallari looking to make it two for three here. But Tebow is strapping it up. We could have some big fireworks going on towards the end of this one. 
but it must be clean for it to be legit. One minute to go, drivers. Tebow has one minute to go. Cavallari, one minute away from a title. Here they go over the five pack on the left side of the track, guys. Up the hill, Tebow now all over the back of Cavallari. Down the back straight away they go. Tebow with the motor, inside move. Tebow with the nice pass, taking over the lead spot. Tebow, your new leader in the Kyoso. Cavallari is second, and Mayfield, he needs to get up there. We have 35 seconds to go, drivers, 35 to go. Here we go, they should make it by for one more lap, so a lap and a half will determine the national champion. Tebow and Cavallari would be tied if it ended right now. We go to the tiebreaker, 20 seconds, they will get one more lap, one more lap for Tebow and Cavallari to decide it all here in Omaha, Nebraska, site of the 2009 Roar Off-Road Electric Nationals. Less than 10, here we go guys, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, finish the lap, you are on, nobody's done, Amescu with the first one done, all eyes on the battle for the lead, going up the peristyle on the left side, Tebow, your leader, Cavallari second, here they go, down the back straightaway, one more turn, Tebow spins it out, gets going, Tebow will win A3. Oh man. I'm gonna be a popular person right now. Here we go, we're gonna have to wait to the printout to decide the national champion. It is a tie.